What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah, internationally now, worldwide. I think this is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another video. So let's take a look here. This is the Crypto Muscle. This is the, the Metal Muscle Show. This is my podcast channel. I don't really talk about it very much, but uh, I always like to post a one hour podcast on this particular channel and if it fits on my uh, other channel for podcasting that I do on BitChute I will put it there too um, but if not then it goes here on this YouTube channel and oh, can't go there yet but yeah subscribe to my channels uh, we got those channels we got my regular channels uh, for platforms news entertainment all that stuff and just real stuff all right so as you guys know i've been doing this on the daily as of recently because these are two of the top platforms in the space this is the crypto death watch series and in this death watch series all i got to say is be very cautious in what you see and hear out there because you got a bunch of idiots out there primarily two of them but you know others as well that seem to think that there is nothing going on in this space and that you know they try to make you look very naive and um, pretty stupid all right to to sit there and just bullshit talk and not really just how about the facts all right so uh, before we go into vortex right because that's the big one Let's talk about CloudFi first this time, alright? So here's CloudFi. Alright, so you guys know CloudFi? Introduced this thing back in March, alright? I introduced this thing back in March first. Before anybody else in this space. And all I gotta say is I've seen it all, alright? I've been through it all. I've seen it all before when it comes to just platforms in general all right and you know the bullshit stuff i've been seeing out there for example i right, jan did a call today and acted like there's nothing going on with cloudfy that it's just business as usual right with very little acknowledgement uh of what's been happening and his dumbass don sit there and say oh oh man jan it's it's great you just send out positive, blah, 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 you know, bullshit stuff, all right, and this is a fact, all right, and it's funny because when you ask for anybody that has any questions or call, you know, or whatever, right, you have some, you know, dummy that, of course, would just produce something positive to say because he doesn't take negative calls, all right, it's only positive, and, uh, you know, he'll praise about, uh, uh, about this sort of call and you know being being able to just understand what's going on and stuff and that you know basically softballing Jan all right and you know and you know what it is it's just saving face saving reputation because we all know what happened it's not like he I mean he tries to downplay what really happened all right that there this was very public that CloudFi separated themselves from Jan, unless they have some sort of underside deal now, because it's funny how Jan says he talks to them every day, all right, and who's bullshitting, is it CloudFi bullshitting with this public separation, and oh, he's ousted the CEO, and all that stuff, or is Jan bullshitting, talking about how he talks to Jacob every day, and you know, they're just going through some uh, improvements right now, is what Jan was saying, right? Um, I think it's too little too late to try to to act like you know what's going on and try to downplay things all right Jan uh, try to downplay all this bullshit all right we all know what's happening here uh, you know, and it's not fake sauce or nothing as you would say or Marcos would say about what has happened out here in the space you know what came on August 9th that hit both of our favorite platforms here right we we all know what hit August 9th on our favorite platforms, four letters, all right. And if it's fake sauce, 
then why do these platforms react in such a way? Because if it was fake sauce, it would have been business as usual. They wouldn't have reacted to this. So fake sauce not, all right, that this stuff has happened. And so these platforms reacted. And that's why we are at where we're at right now. So with Cloudfy, nothing really official has been said about what is happening, what's going to happen. Only days that led up to before last week, all right? So this is last week or the week prior, right? The 13th. Um, um, the days leading up to that, all right, they shifted uh, withdrawals instead of whenever you want instant Bitcoin payouts, right? Because that was the whole idea this whole time with CloudFi. That's what made CloudFi CloudFi. They did away with it and wanted to go once a week on Sunday. That's why it came out on the 6th. That's why it came out on the 13th. And that's why we did it on the 20th, right? Sundays preceding each other. Why do we do that? Well, it's because of the setup that CloudFi wanted to do. Sunday, request for withdrawals. Monday was the setup for payout. So don't let this fool you into thinking it's paid out because this is when it started happening last week. It says processing. Um, this amount, of course, zero has been paid. And we could check the transaction. It's not there. So that means it hasn't been doing anything. It's not in the blockchain. That's for sure. This opened up yesterday real late Sunday afternoon. And it's still open right now. Let's see here. Going into uh, server time Tuesday morning here. And it's still wide open for withdrawal. So all I'm doing is if I was to withdraw this, what it's going to do is it's going to end up being here. And who knows what's going to happen once it ends up here because already $2,500 is here and it's not hidden in the wallet from there, right? Which is here. So if that's happening, who who's to say, and you know, maybe this is just way out on the limb here. Who's to say that that can't just be wiped out then? Right? <laughs> just saying. But at the same time, I always say stack it high and stack it to the sky because you have dumbass douchebags like Marcos of the world that would say, well, you can't do nothing. Might as well just redeposit it or compound it, right? Because you can't do nothing right now. And, of course, it does two things, right? It will open up the blockchain just a little bit because that's one less transaction um, in the withdrawal section, right? And it just moves the money into, uh, you know, back to the dash in terms of the deposit and all that. And two, it's just a disservice because these douchebags are going to tell you to do that stuff selfishly. And let's just say, what if it does come back and work? Oh, shit, you're out of luck this week because of the fact that you redeposited compounded, however you want to call it, while douchebags like the Jans and the Marcos pulls it right back out from under you, right? They just pull it out <laughs> because they didn't compound, right? They didn't redeposit. But they listen to your stupid words for doing that. And then all of a sudden it's working now. And uh, so, Sorry, guys. Because what if it works now and then problems happen again next week? At least you got this one out. But for the guys that listen to what these idiots say, then uh, they're shit out of luck for another week. So I'm just saying, you know, it's just based on my observations, what I'm hearing and seeing out there. It's just stupid, all right? Right now, where CloudFi stands, I know Jan's like likes to bullshit stuff all the time. He's such a bullshit artist. That's why he's full of fake sauce, if anything. Um in terms of what he says, yeah, I talk to J I, you know, I talk to Jacob every day, and oh yeah, they're just working some things right now, working on some improvements. Well, shit, Jan, we all know they got hit by uh, financial authority organization 
So they're trying to work their way out of this particular situation that has nothing to do with quote unquote improvements to the platform because there wasn't anything bad about the platform in the first place for improvements to happen. The only improvement was to fix your dumbasses moves for multiple instant withdraws in the same day that you clowns put out there in the first place. Like, oh, look at this, guys. Look, 10 seconds. <laughs> and then you do it. Hey, Marcos, do another one, right? Oh, let's time this one. <laughs> oh, man, this one only took five seconds. Oh, and then how about this one? Hey, do another one. Do a third one. Oh, look at that. It took seven seconds. And you guys were timing it, having a good time and all that. While on the other end of it, you guys weren't thinking because you guys are dumbasses that, hey, you know what? Someone has to pay for the blockchain fees, all right? And if you're not paying for the blockchain fees, well, shit. CloudFi is paying for it because if CloudFi is not paying for it, then who else is going to pay for it, right? So it's either you or them, and they've been eating it up because you clowns are a bunch of idiots, and anybody else that followed that set, you know, set of bad examples of how to ruin a platform that's causal number one right there for ruining a platform because of stupid ideas and stupid moves like that. All right. So the move that they had to make for this to happen was, well, they were just going to set it back to this once a week. So if anybody messed it up, it would be you clowns that fucked up a good thing there. So I know they're going to downplay it and ignore that event. But that event happened, not once, <laughs> multiple times on video too, by the way. And so what happens? Well, here's another thing too. There was a public disposal of the CEO, all right? And, you know, there was a fake CEO that ran this thing. And now Jan tries to act like it never happened. He tries to act like he was never CEO. He tries to act like it's business as usual, but no, dude. Nobody's fooled, dude. All right. We're certain, certainly not fooled. You can't fake the funk with us because we could see through all that bullshit. And to still try to sell this to this day. An opportunity. All right. Of something here. Oh, man. You know, you're talking up a good game. But man, how, how are you? How are you are you still listening to yourself? This thing has not paid out now going into week two. Who's to say it's going to pay anymore? That's something that you really got to think about. No, no, but no, you're going to have Jans and the Marcus sit there and, and uh, yeah, I talk to Jacob every day. Everything's going to be fine. Well, that's one thing, all right? But the same guy said, I saw everything in CMB. <laughs> I saw everything, so trust me, I saw everything. Yeah, you saw everything to, oh, I only saw everything on Zoom. <laughs> Get out of here, man. That's why Jan's such a clown. What a fucking clown. And Marcos is just a clown <laughs> douchebag junior All right, for sucking his dick. That's how bad of a clown that Marcos is. And Don, get out of here too. Don, just a Mark-ass bullshit artist too. So we have all these clowns put together. Man, this is a circus freak show that's going to screw you guys up and fuck you guys over. That's what's happening here. And that's a fact. Right? And they do the same bullshit with Vortec. At least Vortec does a little bit of glimmer of good news. If you want to take it for what it's worth and believe in what is being said. Alright? And so... Since uh, we're going to jump on to Vortec United News now, all right, this is going to be a pivotal week. And remember now, all right, remember now, let's go here. Oh, yeah, by the way, CloudFi, no new news going on here, all right? <laughs> and it's funny how there was no Q&A because no one had questions to ask or they shut down those questions on uh, CloudFi's video today, by the way. A good way to screen those calls, Jan. Right? <laughs> you 
Oh man, I mean it's so easy to read all all between the lines with that, right? I want to go back in time to a week ago, right? So the 14th, a week ago, right? I've read this note many times to you guys out there for Vortex United, right? And it says right here, we are expecting the change of servers, change of infrastructure, and updates of the backend system to be completed in around seven to eight days. This is just an estimation. Ideally, it will be already completed faster. Once we are done, all outstanding transactions will be completed right away in one batch. All right. August 14th. All right. What is right now? Let's go take a look at what is right now. Oh, shit. It is now August 22nd. 4 a.m. August 22nd. So if that's the case, that is now eight days. But wait. All right. But wait. Before you say something... Let's go jump forward now in time. All right. We're going to go forward in time to uh, what's happening over here. Of course, they introduced new packages over the weekend. It's to really sort of, uh, you know, get you guys to kind of join in on it, on this newer opportunities. Uh, you know, fresh cash flow coming in possibly. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things to where, you know, all I got to say is, oh man, I mean, I've seen this stuff happen before and, you know, it, <laughs> it looks more like a money grab to me, but hey, you know what? I could be wrong, right? So let's go fast forward to, uh, yesterday now, all right, August 21st now. This is the latest update, all right? Since it was Monday, typically payouts start happening on Monday, and it didn't happen with us, obviously, because we're still waiting for this sort of, you know, fix to happen in the back office, which was very coincidental with Jensen being on the Vegas trip, very coincidental with the timing of this whole uh, August 9th situation. And if you don't know August 9th, all right, do you want me to let the cat out of the bag? I've ever, I mean, it's already known out there. The CFTC, right? They hit CloudFi. They hit Vortex United. We all know that. All right. So it's just so coincidental. The timing of all that, it's all fake sauce, right? Because if it was fake sauce, Marcos, then we all would have been paid and business as usual, right? But no, it's because this real sauce happened and these platforms reacted. If it was fake sauce, AMSYS would not change from crypto program to AMSYS, right? Funds would not contemplate changing to some other platform name and identity because of fake sauce, because the shit's real, dumbass. So here we are, right? Uh, this is the newest note here. We are moving in the right direction with our upgrades and soon everything will be completed. Some hours ago, our IT team started to test our new and fully automated payment system and we're looking forward to see a positive conclusion in the next one to two days. Thank you for your strong support. And once we have an update, we will let you know right away. Here's something, all right? I do support Vortech because, you know, I've been with Vortech since day one. I launched the first video into YouTube cyberspace, just like I did with CloudFi, by the way. Man, isn't that crazy? And so, but true, right? Crazy, but true. And, you know, I laid the season foundation. And like I said, I've always said, I might not be the biggest, you know, influencer or marketer, whatever you want to call it, but um, I do lay the seeds and foundations of the many, many platforms in this space, right? Isn't that crazy, though? It's just crazy, but true. I don't got to lie about this shit. You know, like, I don't have to lie about, you know, having 300 mutual friends on Facebook like Marcos does, because I do. I mean, if he says he does, then I do, too. You know, I have 300 mutual friends, too. By the way, uh, when it comes to this whole Facebook stuff, right? 300 mutual friends that I have with, with uh, Jensen here. All I got to say is Queen Wiki knows the real truth. And uh, 
the other person that would know the truth because I've looked at all that stuff, right? And uh, Renee knows the truth too. <laughs> yeah. Renee knows the truth very, very well. Renee knows that, that um, you know, something about it. All right. All I got to say is, you know, let's just say it's a doggone, <laughs> a doggone a uh, way of doing it, all right? It, it was a doggone way to doing it. That's a hint, all right? And Hikmet, if you're if you're watching this and you want to know what I'm talking about, all right, then uh, hit me up and I can explain what I'm talking about. What is this cryptic stuff I'm saying? I'm so cryptic, right? It's crypto, all right? All I got to say is, that doggone dog. <laughs> all right? Only Renee knows what I'm talking about, too. Man. You know, I blur the lines of reality and crypto. Oh my gosh, it's just crazy. I think the only other person that will probably really know would be Queen Wiki. And so it's just, this is just some funny stuff, you know. It's so funny. I, I just laugh at this stuff, you know, and I read and, and see what goes on in this space. And so, you know, it's funny because with Vortec, the same bullshit comes out of Marcos, right? You know, with this whole situation right now. Uh, you know, he says bullshit stuff, you know, like, here, let me show you here. You know, he says bullshit stuff. People are asking, hey, what's going on with Vortex and stuff, right? So let's roll this back a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Oh, withdrawals won't be available until probably Thursday based on last call. Jensen did send me a voice message today asking me to send him a Zoom link for next update Tuesday or Wednesday. And, uh, then comes yesterday, right? Uh, let's see here. This is going to be a funny one. Uh, let's see if he removed the message here. Um, trying to see if the message got removed. All right. It might be in a different chat, but point of it was in another chat, he was encouraging people, well, you know, you can't do nothing right now. Might as well just, uh, you know, Get your earnings that you got here and put it back in. Repurchase, redeposit, whatever it is. Put it right back in, you know, since you can't do nothing right now. And it's like, um, now, again, I want to raise the same possibility here. What if it does open back up and that possibility of it happens of withdrawing and it comes out? Well, now, Marcos fucked you guys over because he said, oh, let's go ahead and just read about it. Go ahead and, and uh, compound this thing. And uh, now you're shit out of luck because you're not going to get that money this week because of the stupid words like that. All right? And, you know, it's, it's, it's just going out on a limb that it's going to happen, right? But I'm not believing it's going to happen. Maybe I'm just cynical about things in this space. Uh, I'm just very cynical, and even though I like these platforms a lot, these are the top two platforms in the space right now, especially the ones I'm in, I'm just not believing that it's going to happen, you know, I'm so cynical about it, you know, and uh, and it's, it's, it's a good way to, to approach these things, right, not to fall in love, and to be cynical about it, because when <laughs> when the real news comes out that oh no we got something else we got to fix or or they just decide to pack up shop and go away and i'm not trying to pinpoint these platforms i'm just saying in general well then you know you know that you weren't falling in love with it and that you'll be okay right you just move on so as nice as this is, would be you know to hit the wallet i, I just don't feel that it's going to happen i feel like something else is going to happen and you know it's gonna be up oh, you know sorry guys we got something else that happened here and then of course you're gonna have the marcos do a damage control and and uh you know he'll he'll probably do some sort of call and be like hey jen you know jen you know jensen's been uh, working by working so hard behind the scenes to justify something else that's gonna happen right and um that yeah that's i could see that already you know, and it's funny how they 
blatantly screw people over between Marcos, Jan, Dora, right? Screw people over, Don, if you want to throw him into, into thinking of something that's good. Oh, yeah, compound, compound for that bigger payday, all that stuff. But yet, you know, now they're trying to backtrack things and try to do videos, you know, and talk about, oh, it's for your education, guys, and all that stuff. And, you know, we're not here to show you guys uh, the money and all that stuff. We're not trying to show you guys the transactions, but you need to see the transactions. You need to show that it's not paying right now. Again, a disservice to you guys because it's not paying. So why try to do a pitch deck performance to to really showcase something if it's not paying? It's like Kinnear when Cash of X didn't pay for that year back in 2022, right? They weren't paying for the whole year, but yeah, Kinnear you know, on replay every week. Cause I know that they didn't. <laughs> I know he didn't record one every week. They just replayed him every week. I didn't like it was business as usual, and it's like, uh, hello. How can you have business as usual if money is not coming out? Oh well, it's happening though. Oh man, look guys, the, the earnings are still happening. All right, see, see guys, look. Let me show you guys. Yeah, yeah, the earnings are still happening. See, as you can see, if you go look in the trading feed, right, the trades are happening. Look, guys, so the earnings are coming. Yeah, the earnings are coming, yeah, right? Oh, shit, if you go to Vortex, oh, man, if you look at, uh, you know, let's see here. If we look at the reporting here, oh, my gosh, you know, like the trading is happening. And so you are accumulating earnings, okay? But these are dashboard numbers until we see it hit the wallet. So if it's not going to do us any good if we just earn dashboard dollars and it doesn't hit our wallet. What's that? What's what's good? Is that going to do? So here's what I see in the upcoming future. All right, when one or both of these fall out of the picture and um, I could see more ripping and backlash back at Jan back and at Marcos because they love to be the front guys here and this is what's gonna happen right they're gonna try to defend themselves and say oh well you know did you guys read a disclaimer right but it, but for Jan, it, he can't take that shit, right? So he's going to close up his Telegram chat once again because all the flying words that's going to come at him. And he's going to close that chat again because that's his MO. He can't handle that shit. And then Marcos, he's going to just, you know, do damage control as well and be like, well, guys, see you guys. I told you guys not to do this and this and this. And it's like, no, you didn't. All right. <laughs> Is for every one of these programs, you had that stupid compound calculator, you know, pushed out there. Even though you're downplaying it now, well, obviously because it's not paying. But wait till it, it let's just say if it is paying once again, oh man, you're going to be pushing that calculator right back out again. Compound for the bigger payday. All right, trying to encourage that scenario because it encourages people to keep their money in longer when this whole time people should take the damn money out. Fuck the compounding. All right. I've never seen a compound scenario work at all whatsoever. So I don't even know why it's even a thing in these platforms. So I'm just saying all these guys are doing is looking at what they're getting selfishly from you. And, uh, and they don't give a damn. They don't give a shit. That's why they're doing what they're doing. Screw you guys over. But yeah, so this is keeping it on the real. What's really happening in this space right now, all right? So, you know, according to this right here, in a couple days for Vortec, is it going to happen? Is it going to come? All right? Hey, I've said all along, you know, I was going to give it to Wednesday because that's the end of the 48-hour cutoff. But if he posted this thing yesterday and he said, hey, he still needs another, what, uh, let me see here. 
it needs another, uh, you know, one to two days. I mean, that's right in line with that. Maybe I'll give them Thursday. How about that? We'll throw a Thursday just in case. All right. But I, I, I'm thinking there's some other hiccup or exit out the back door is what's going to be happening here. So how many of you guys agree with me with that, about that? Uh, probably not too many. I, I, I'm betting not too many people agree with me with that. And that's fine. You know, I, I'm taking, you know, the brunt right now of going the opposition here. And that's fine. But I'm keeping it real of what's happening here, right? And with Cloudfy, come on, people. <laughs> the time is up. If, you know, at first there was no explanation of what was going on. But then throughout just time, right, it was put out there and we finally found it, came upon it, that, uh, hey, you know what, this is what happened. So then it explains why Cloudfy reacted in such a way. But not really outright said it, right? We had to find it from other places of that information um, of what occurred with Cloudfy. So they're in their own damage control mode too, trying to figure things out. While Marcos and Jan deceives everybody saying that they talk to Jacob every day in Cloudfy. You know, and so, I don't know. Are they lying? Because that's blasphemous for Marcos, especially because he's holier than thou, all right, to be lying all the time, which he does, to say he speaks to Jacob every day. I mean, I could try to find out if that's true, right? I could find out if that's true. Same with Jan. I mean, if there was such a public separation, you know, then how can he be talking to them every day? The only thing for me is that, and this is what I was told, all right, that the back office of his was removed as part of the firing, right? But, you know, Jan showed it off today and all that stuff, so... That would need some explaining to do. And I'm curious about that, if you would want to ever explain that. All right. But that's just a side story there. Um, you know, that, that's just a little side story of what I observed and uh, what's happening here. So, yeah, you want to make gains on autopilot? Sure. <laughs> Cloudfy, you can make dashboard money. Go on ahead, all right? Go on ahead, guys. Make some dashboard money. Vortech? I mean, go ahead, make make some more dashboard money. All right, go ahead, deposit it in the 10k, deposit it in all those short-term plans. Right? Um, I can't imagine it going over very well. These sort of plans, if there's not pain right now. See, you introduce these plans right at the wrong time. If this was introduced maybe a couple weeks ago when it was still paying. Oh yeah, those these new plans would have went over really well, right? I'm talking about these new additional packages that was added. See how there was the original A, B, C, D? Then, I'm oh, sorry, uh, A, B, C and Compound was the original. They just added the D and then they added short term 1, 2, 3. To me, having these things would have went over really well give or take, let's, you know, we'll, we'll push about even a month ago before Vegas and stuff, you know, when it was paying fine, all that stuff leading to Vegas. And now it's question marks. Like, I, I would love to be the guy to be like, hey, you know, try out these plans, guys, but I'm not confident enough to say, hey, you know, if you put in these packages, you're good. I'm not confident about it because, well, it has not paid now. And it was rough two weeks ago. Well, shit, it's been rough for me for the past month if you really look at the transactions. Because I explained to you about my stories, right? I mean, look at the stories here for the past month. It's been rough because of <laughs> bullshitting. I'll say bullshit politics because it's kind of it's kind of like that, right? funny though because you know it, I've done it throughout time the same times throughout time so you can look at these times here 
if I've done it throughout time, and this is the server time, all right? So imagine it in my time zone. All right, this is about five to six hours outside the deadline of, of my time zone. All right, think about that. And I was still able to get it week after week after week, even in large ones like this 53,000 right here. How can that be, right? But yet, when this, and it all started with this one right here, and all of a sudden it became a problem. Then all of a sudden when uh, this week came about right here, uh, there was an ERC-20 bug in the processor. And then, you know, this came out okay. This came out okay, right? Made up for it. And then last week comes, right? And then this situation occurred because now everybody knows about what happened on August 9th. And then this right here is just a continuation. This was just yesterday or actually uh, two days ago now. And um, with that, uh, I don't know. I'm just not confident that, uh, and by the way, I mean, 69% of Ruby, phew, love it. All right, it's getting, it's getting there towards the, the prize here, right? If it goes 100%, Ruby will be paid out. But I don't know. I, I would love to hit Ruby, but I'm just not confident about what's happening here. So in order to get off a of death watch, it's either going to have to die or pay. I mean, it's just two simple ways to do it. So let's see what happens here. Is it going to pay or is it going to die? There's only two possible scenarios. And I give you guys a daily update because there's always something going on daily here with these platforms. Whether it's bullshit coming out of bullshitters. Or just news and updates that are happening with the platform. And that's where it's at, right? So, where do we stand right now with this? Well, I look at CloudFi. And I like CloudFi. I like everything about them. I like the people behind them. And, uh, you know, straight up guy. But, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a fix for CloudFi. I think the damage has been done. When Jan came aboard and, you know, just being aboard on it because now it's caught up with CloudFi and I don't know if there's anything they can really do about it because it's on paper now. It's documented, right? And so I guess Jan can say, oh, yeah, I talk to them every day and stuff, you know, because now it's it's kind of just, you know, there's already a knife stuck into it, right? But now you're just digging that knife into it more and more, just twisting and turning it, right? Just rubbing it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talk to them every day, right? When CloudFi is trying to, you know, separate themselves, and you hear Jan say, oh, yeah, yeah, I talk to them every day. Oh, man, isn't that, isn't that so bad, CloudFi? You know, like, I don't know. It's just bad because now you're really showing those authorities, right, financial authorities, that there is a connection, which is pretty idiotic for Jan to fuck things up once again, as he's been doing. And uh, now we go to Vortech. Um, it was good that they nipped it in the bud with not letting him be CMO, but at the same time, you know, just the, the stench lingers right because the stench lingers you know he didn't have to be a cmo or ceo of vortec just being involved with it really put the microscope the telescope <laughs> any scope on vortec and then bam there it is and that's why it's been documented as such with jan and vortec which is sad though you know because it was it, it it's a good thing they had going and then all of a sudden you know and it was fine without Jan and then when Jan came aboard what happens it fucked things up again too and when you really look at now the record here right you look at his records CMB fucked up <laughs> gone max spread fucked up 
gone, right? Mainnet, it, it is fucked up. It's it's technically gone because right now Mainnet's still going, but they're tied up with the uh, French financial authorities, or whatever, and so. You know, Mainnet can, can can carry on with their presentations that they do every week and posting their trading results, but it's not going to do any good because they're locked. Their withdrawals are locked, and you know they're blacklisted right now. They can't do shit. So you count that as fucked up. So you know what's next? <laughs> well, I don't know. These two are right here. You know, pretty soon might be over. And then what else is out there that he is involved? Oh shit! Oh no, Surex. No one's really talking about. It. It's gonna die anyway because it's token platform. No one gives a shit about Tegeta. It's like another rendition of uh, Max Spread. Don't really see that going anywhere either. Um, so that's done, right? Those are gonna be toast. But then Invisible AI, I hate to say it, man, but Invisible AI, man, it's, it's going to be on the radar now because, again, Jan Stinch lingers. So when you have all that, you know, it's going to really shorten the span of life for the platform. So crazy how that is, but, you know, that uh, if that's what you guys like, <laughs> that's on you guys. But man, we were doing so good without them. All right, for a long time. And all of a sudden he jumps in and, you know, it's funny how he jumps in and it messes up everything. You know, but you guys won't really think about it that way. You guys will just say, oh, you know, it's just Jambi and Jan and all this other stuff. I, I don't get that, man. I just don't get it. Yeah, so um, we'll see what happens. Like I said, uh, I'm just not very optimistic. I'm just being a realist and keeping this thing real. All right, and so we'll see what happens, all right, as I keep you guys informed. Lately, it's been on the daily, so we'll see what happens, all right? So we'll keep in touch as we do because that's what I always do. Give you guys a real information i'm not trying to sell a pitch deck of vortex right now and say hey guys i'm not trying to do a pitch deck of of cloud fire right now and say hey guys check this out you know and explain how things are working when first the pay needs to work first before anything because what's the point of doing all that wasted time and effort if it's not paying right tell me about it when it's paying you know, uh, the Sunday before I did a video and didn't know that these hiccups was going to happen. So I did a video about, you know, how great Vortech United is, right? Man, and the comments I got was, don't you know what's going on? Don't you know this, this, and this? And, blah, blah, blah. and I was like, shit, you know? So if you're getting on me on that, how come you guys are not getting on him for that? You know why? Because he shuts off his comments. <laughs> That's why. So I'm just saying, you know, you know, the real comments don't come out because he turns off his comments. See, so that's the thing about it. even Marcos turns off his comments too because that's the problem is that they can't face the bullshit that happens, the the backlash that happens when you know the shit hits the fan. You know, they they only can do it when uh, things are good, right? Things are bad. Oh man, they can't face that shit. Turn off the comments. All that stuff. So, just saying, you know, you guys got to just really keep your eyes open. All right? Keep your eyes wide open and your ears open just to see and hear what's really happening here in this space. So, that's your latest on Death Watch. All right? Either they pay or die is what's happening in these two scenarios of platforms here. So, We'll see what happens. Thanks for listening. And uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think about that and more, right? Stay tuned, as always. And uh, that's real. That's damn real, all right? So uh, other than that, I'll see you next one.